Hello! It's Friday, which means it's time for more Minecraft Bingo Challenge Seeds, but let's start things off, as we usually do, by honoring last week's winners. The first of the previous week's Bingo Seeds was Seed 3101. You should see the scoreboard up on the screen. And there was a very wide, flat range of scores this week, but on the top of the list was Dr. Drew 282, once again, with a time of 5 minutes and 54 seconds. Congratulations! The other bingo seed this week was seed 3102, which had an even wider range of scores, which you should be able to see up on the screen right here. And at the top of the scoreboard was, da 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 da, it was me, Dr. Brian Lorgan111. Congratulations to me with a time of 6 minutes and 15 seconds. Next, there was the 25 minute point seed, and this was seed 3111. <laughs> and guess who's at the top of the leaderboard? You can see it here. The only reason I don't have a partner in crime at the top of the leaderboard is because Burgasms accidentally threw out his sugar before he used it to make his fermented spider eye, if I'm recalling correctly. And so all alone at the top, top of the leaderboard, it's me, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111 with 22 points. It's the first time I've won a point seed in a while. The practiced or prepared seed this week, seed 9979, saw a fair bit of action as people continued to improve their scores and climb up the leaderboard. And pretty much everyone was going for quote-unquote temple run because there was a desert temple that ended up having some of the essential materials. But by the end of the week, at the top of the leaderboard was learning with a time of 1 minute and 48 seconds, which seems virtually unbeatable. Congratulations. And finally, someone did attempt to go for the blackout on that practice seed as well, and Burning, I think, refined his time a couple of times, but ended up with a final score of 16 minutes and 57 seconds for getting all 25 items. Congratulations, Burning. So there you have it, your winners for the previous week. Thanks to everyone who played, had some fun, and posted some scores to the leaderboards. This week will be another night vision week, as per usual lately, and so let's go on to this week's seeds. The first seed to play a blind for bingo this week is seed 3204, trying to get a five in a row, column, or diagonal as fast as possible. And this card actually doesn't look too bad. The right column looks pretty reliable, and if you happen to stumble upon an ender pearl, some other quick opportunities might open up. Let's take a look at the spawn point. And the spawn point for this card starts you near a jungle, and I also saw some pumpkins in a variety of directions, which might be useful for this card as well. The next seed to play blind for bingo this week is the card pictured here, seed 3205, which also looks like it has a couple of reasonable rows or columns. The spawn point for this card is a little bit more challenging though, starting you next to a large desert, although there are some forests nearby. We also have a 25-minute challenge this week. Card 3222 is pictured here, where the goal is to get as many items as possible within 25 minutes. That is, until the game time it reads 1500. And the spawn point for this card starts in a cold taiga. I see some ice spikes in the distance over there, and a jungle in the distance over there. And finally this week, we have the practiced or prepared seed, seed 9977, with the card pictured here. And unlike the other seeds, where you're supposed to play them blind, this one you can practice over and over, try to find the best route, learn where all the best items are to get, and go for the fastest time, either for bingo or for the blackout of all 25 items. And the spawn point for this one starts you in a relatively vanilla forested biome. So, those are your Minecraft Bingo version 2.5 seed challenges for the week. I look forward to comparing scores with all of you, and hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day. Bye-bye.